Matthew 7 and 20 says, Wherefore by the fruits he shall know them. They will know us by the fruits that we bear. What kind of fruits are you bearing tonight? We offer spiritual sacrifices to the Lord. 1 Peter 2 and 5 says, He also has lively stones. Not dead bones, but lively stones. Don't be all groom and doom, but be lively stones. And build up that spiritual house. A holy priesthood offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. When you're going through your trials, when you're going through your doubts, when you're going through your fears, lift up praises to Him and begin to bless His holy name and know that He will see you through through the promises that He made unto us and be as lively stones. Don't be like dead bones sitting in a congregation and not never feeling nothing because it's not the preacher's fault. It's not nobody's fault but yours because you sometimes you won't make that first step. Sometimes you've got to make that first step for God to do the rest. You... When you go to church and you don't get nothing out of the service, don't blame the preacher. Don't say the preacher preached a dull message. Blame yourself because you didn't make that first step. Paul exhorted to be a living sacrifice. Romans 12, 1 and 2 says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that he presents your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Holy, acceptable to God. Are we acceptable to God tonight? Are we giving our bodies as a holy spiritual sacrifice tonight? Doing what He would have us to do. Going where He wants us to go. Doing what He wants us to do. Saying what He wants us to say. The Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice. You can sacrifice all this world has to offer. But the question is tonight, are you obeying the Lord? If he tells you to do something, are you obeying him? That's what the living sacrifice is tonight. It's obeying the Lord in all things. Verse 2, And be not conformed to the world. Be not conformed to the world. You have to live in the world, but don't be like the world. Sin is sin, and no sin is going to enter in tonight. Do not partake in it, but witness to him. But be he transformed by what the renewing of your mind. All things pass away. All things become new. Newness of mind. Newness of life. Newness of body. Newness of spirit. All things pass away. All things become new. And renew your minds to think like Christ would want us to think. That he may prove what is that is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. That's what we need to do tonight. That's what we should pursue is that perfect will of God. None of us is perfect. There's times in our life each and every one of us will stumble and fall. Each and every one of us may have doubts and fears. Each and every one of us may, may turn back just for a moment. Because that's why there's no such thing as once in grace, always in grace. But the Bible says that you are not truly saved until you endure until the end. We've got to endure. We've got to persevere against our problems. We've got to persevere against our defeats. And we've got to stay in when everybody else around us falls. We've got to stay in. When we lose all hope, we've got to have hope that He will see us through tonight. Perseverance tonight is the key.